Good morning, this is Paul. Paul, how are you? Good. I was I trying to, are you on the phone or are you on your computer? I'm on the computer, but it doesn't have a camera or anything. Yeah, it's weird. I'm trying to promote you to panelist and it's not letting me. Oh, it says join as panelist now. Okay, there we go. And same thing with Mr. Stasco. Here we go. Because I think that if you are on the phone, sometimes it doesn't allow you to um, yeah. which is kind of weird, but there we go. Oh. All we need is one more. All we need is one more commissioner for a form. <laughs> I never. I didn't hear back from Bill because I know he said something about traveling and he would dial in. But um, I believe he's coming in. Okay. Yeah, he never confirmed. He didn't. He wasn't sure if he was travel plans were still solid or not. I just texted him. All right. Um, huh. So Bill's dialed into a different meeting. Let me send him. There he is. Um, I think we just need Wayne. No, Good morning, Bill. How are you? Good. Hey, Bill. Howdy.
might be him now. It's Brian. <clears throat> morning morning wait down we don't call good hmm Uh, maybe we should just send up some smoke. <laughs> I texted Wayne to see if he was joining. He did inquire about it a little bit ago. Hmm. Oh, <clears throat> oh goodness. <clears throat> Yeah, Wayne just got back and he said he's calling in. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Hi. Morning. Yep. You're waiting for Wayne, is it? Yes. At least I'm not the one responsible. <laughs> My apologies. There he is.
Okay. Wayne. Wayne. Hi there. Morning, Wayne. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, why don't I call the meeting to order at uh, 10 10 a.m. President Bill McGowan, Paul Kearse, Wayne Sotchuk, and Dan Coughlin. And I believe we're here to discuss uh, signing off on the on the drawings. And um, I know that uh, um, Dan has had a, sent a bunch of uh, not a bunch wrong wrong word sent uh, corrections or amendments to the drawing to Mark. And I'm I guess the question to Mark is it have, have you completed those or almost or uh, uh, which one which drawing package are we speaking to right now because. Whatever the last one, I got the email from Dan. I don't, I don't know what number they are or any of that. I want an update on both. There are, there's two drawing sets. One is for the offsite Route Three A, which we'd like to have a vote today for approval. Okay, are we ready to do that, Dan? Uh, yes, <clears throat> that was the first letter I had sent you for review. Yeah, there are a couple of conditions and stuff in there as well, or comments, but. Nothing really that significant. So um, I tailored basically a recommendation letter uh, for approval, um, you know, addressing those comments, so long as they address those comments to some degree. Okay. So Paul, you can Wayne, you, Paul or Wayne, do you have any comments to that? <laughs> no. I just Paul. recommend that we, that we approve it subject to the comments that were provided. I would second that. Okay. And why don't we do a roll call vote? Bill McGowan, aye. Oh, Kier, aye. Wayne Sotchuk, aye. So that was for the offsite. Um, Mark, where are you at on the on the other set of comments? I guess for the onsite work, um, we're going through your comments right now um, and trying to understand some of them. And many of the comments are are related to design of choices meaning that it's outside the uh, Cohasset regulations. Uh, so the design, the current design for the onsite work were designed to meet the Cohasset regulations for the sewer commission. And some of the comments that you presented um, kind of go outside the line there, outside the, uh, the travel lane. So we're going through that. We'll get you a set of comments, uh, but you have to remember that these plans have been reviewed by DEP and have been approved. So, uh, there's, there's six comments that we're going through right now, and we'll yeah. I mean, the DP comments back to you, but any of them um, I, are related to a designer's choice or a preference. Uh, is there any particular comment there that where the design, the current design, deviates from the sewer regulations? Yeah, I think there are. I mean, I, I the way I detail the comments, uh, we had some recommendations. Mm -hmm. We had some clarifications. We also had some other things that were designer choice items, um, you know, just based upon our experience mm -hmm. to, to make a better, tighter system. Um, you know, if if you have II issues down the road, they're going to have to be addressed. So um, we're just making some general um, designer choice things that you could evaluate. But I, I think what we're looking for is response back to every single one. Um, we can so, so, so Mark on the um, on on the, the the recommendations that he had on there, uh, you've made a comment that uh, some of them are outside of what the scope is for uh, the sewer commission. Do you have? Could you separate those in your response? And are those related to designer choice? I can. I can do that. Um, you know, I'll give you an example of. Uh, uh, sewer uh, on a sewer manhole epoxy coating or lining a sewer manhole that's brand new is not necessarily done or is required by the, your current regulations to do that so that's one comment it's a recommendation is to design his choice um so that's one but we'll go through we'll be happy to go through these and provide comments back um and we can work through some of these comments and and some of the suggestions that we can incorporate and some of them um that are, are just outside the boundaries. 
So we'll we'll go back and forth with that and work those out. Yeah. So if we can if we can close out uh, the requirements, um, and then what's what would be left are these um, designer choices, if you will, or things that you feel were outside of the the scope of the requirements, mm -hmm. and I, that hopefully would be a shorter list that we can address uh, because there there may be things that. Um, between uh, Brian Joyce and Dan Coughlin would be, you know, desired for a system that we're going to own and maintain. So um, we, we can look at those and see what they are. Yeah, I think we're just looking for a response back to all of those and then we'll reassess. It. Okay, we can do that. We'll be happy yeah. to do that. Yeah, I just like to break them out separately. Um, uh, what I like to do is I'll, I'll go through the comments and I'll say, I'll reference them as a design of choice. Okay, please. Uh, or, yeah. And I'll say that designer choices such as um, schedule 80 pipe or schedule 40 pipe um, inside a uh, pump ch changer. I'll say that's a, an opinion of de designer's choice, whether mm -hmm. we choose to do that or not, or um, I'll, I'll, I'll spell that out in the response. Something of that nature, uh, schedule 40, schedule 80 pipe for short pieces of pipe is not, uh, it's not a big change. Okay. Yeah. For that, you know, for that run of pipe or interior piping, it's not a, not a big lift, in other words. Okay, good. Then, then we can make a decision as a sewer commission. Um, so it'll give you um, a direction of which one we're going to choose and, and move forward with. So if I understand, I'll get these comments back over to Dan. Would you like a copy of those in, in their interim? Yes. Okay. I'll be happy to do that. And... Um, I'm working through some of the electrical comments right now, and I'll get that over to the commission and to Dan as soon as we can. Okay. Mark, um, can you also give us an update where uh, construction is too? And uh, I think I, we also were looking for a, a site contact in order to coordinate, you know, inspections going forward. Mm -hmm. the, and, uh, and testing, any testing that was done so far, you know, I mean, you can you can feed that in as yeah. as, as it becomes available, but. To my knowledge, um, well, what the, Mr. Stasco has started the work on the emergency or temporary connection from building 390 to 400. Um, that work has started yesterday uh, and is proceeding. And we're out there overseeing that work right now. Um, so I was okay. out there on the site yesterday. Um, it installed about 190 feet of pipe of SDI 21 two inch from the flow pit, uh, from the flow meter pit. Yeah. And so you have a, a resident out there or just periodic? How we, that have full, we have a full-time resident right now. Okay. On site, and I was there um, the better part of the day yesterday. Okay. Is he taking some photos too? Yes. Great. And we'll prepare, you know, uh, our, our normal daily report um, with photographs documenting you know, the work that was been performed and documenting okay. the pipe, material pipes and so forth. Uh, of the installation. Is that going to be, uh, are you going to be, have a resident out there all the time during sewer construction? Yes. Okay. So, so we'll have, maybe well, our intention is since the work for including the on site work and also the off site work too uh, for the sewer work. So we'll have that. We're, we're, for the off site work, we're familiar with MassDOT requirements. Um, so we're comfortable providing a resident, full time resident for that. D5 or District 5 from the MassDOT um, folks will require a resident out there. So we can have, we can cover both for the sewer installation and also for the resident work for the MassDOT work too. Okay, so we're gonna need a contact for, for that person then? Yeah. So we can get some some updates and see where we're at and then- The contact okay. from, from, is for me. I'll, you can, I can be the contact because I communicate with the resident. Um, Okay. So if you if you're fine with that, uh, I'd be happy to give you an update or you know the, the persons out there. I'd rather have you con communicate with me if that's okay. Okay. I mean, if we're in the area, we're going to swing by. Uh, it'd be nice to have. Sure, I can. I can contact I can, information. Yeah, I can give you the contacts. Yeah. Okay. Sure, Mark. Do do you anticipate um, something occurring weekly from now no. on? My, I th as I understand from Mr. Sasko, um, that the, the intention is to put the pipe in front of Stop and Shop um, in the pavement section as soon as we can, um, because the, and, and re-asphalt that work before the plants close, the asphalt plants close, and then they're okay. going to have to order the uh, 
order the, uh, the pump and the apparatus, um, and that will come in later. So the idea right now is to get all the underground work complete before Christmas, and then follow up with the pumps as they become available. Okay. I, I don't know, Dan, if, um, if he's going to be doing, if he wanted to, you know, once a week saying, this is what we did this week, this is what we plan next week. If you wanted a weekly update or uh, every two weeks or. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I detailed it before. Every Friday, we'd like to, an update as, as far as what's going to be happening the following week um, during active construction. Obviously, there's going to be a period of time between when there is no construction, yeah. but at least initially, um, you know, we, we'd like an idea what, you know, the schedule is. Mm -hmm. and, we can um, you know, we'd also like that sent to Brian Joyce, too, so he has a record of it. Yes. Um, yeah, so, so when we when we do the when when I anticipate when we do the offsite work where it's just a little bit more uh, a longer period, it's more consistent, it's more flow, fluid, it, it flows. You start April first, it's going to take about three months to do. We'll do a, a pre-construction meeting. You'll be invited. Uh, anybody else, the police and fire, and those folks, uh, Brian Joyce will be invited. Um, we'll have a sit down. We'll go over the plans. We'll go over the schedule. Uh, and MassDOT will be present too. They'll, they'll require that. Yeah, I, I understand that. But we can do at least at this stage of the game, though, we, we do want to get a schedule as far as when he's working out there, mm -hmm. just so we know. Okay. No, for so, this the short term, for the short term, I agree with you. Um, giving you an update once a week for for this period of time in December, um, we can do that every Friday. So that way we can do a look ahead for next week or the week ahead. And then there'll be a lull, a period where all the work on site will, will stop until the pumps come in. And then we'll give you a notification. As soon as we know, we'll provide a notification to you and the board. Yep. yep. And it may, yep. Be, it may be as simple as just highlighting the plan and saying, this is the work we're going to be working on this week type of thing, you know? Sure. Um, but yes. we would like to get an update now, just kind of a window. If you could send something over as far as what's been done and what you're doing this week, that'd be great. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. I have one question, and that is, um, is any of the temporary work you're doing now to connect the, the apartments to the stop and shop system, is any of that going to be permanent when it's finished? In other words, redirected at near stop and shop, so it's going into a different pump station or whatever? Yes, that will be permanent up until the, the uh, I want to say, to the westly side of stop and shop, the west entrance of stop and shop. So the entrance to, um, to closest to Route 3A, the work between building 390 and the the, the entrance to um, to the Wesley entrance of Stop and Shop that will be permanent, and okay. and that and then that's where the temporary connection is made to the septic tank, the, the Stop and Shop septic, septic tank. That connection is made there, um, and then the work will continue up into uh, manhole. Um, I think manhole number number three over by what we call number three over by Route 3A, which becomes the permanent feature. That's, okay. the, that's the gravity line that goes to the other manhole behind Stop and Shop that connects to the proposed Route 3A gravity line system. Okay, I was just curious. So, so a two inch pipe will actually handle the whole uh, 390 building? Yes. And there'll be, another, there'll be another pump station, pump station number one connected to building 380. And that'll be another two inch. Uh, two inch force main. Okay. So it is important to make sure that that's installed well. So, mm -hmm. yes, I agree. And we'll be happy to be there um, on site and we'll be happy to give daily reports um, and weekly look aheads too. Yeah. Well, we plan on doing some periodic inspection too. Absolutely. So I, think, I need the schedule. Yeah. Okay. Understood. So, we, um, Dan, you probably want to be um, uh, inspection of. Um, when you do the testing of the pipes, perhaps, or be aware of it. <clears throat> so if you're in the area. Yeah, definitely, definitely do, during, I think I outlined that in the letter too. Yeah. During any testing, we do want to be present to make sure everything's running well and everything tests out well. See if there's any issues with the piping. Um, it's also important to let Mr. Sasko know, or uh, his representative, George, know when you anticipate arriving to the site. So that way they're aware of somebody working or coming to the site. Yeah, I mean, when we're on site, we'll notify the foreman or whoever is mm -hmm. is in charge, and that's why I asked for their contact information. Yep. Yep. We're not we're not going to schedule the visits. Um, that's not going to happen. But we will notify whoever you give us for a contact. Yes. 
it's important to, that you let the owner or the um, the construction manager know that you're on site. Yeah. Yep. That's in case a question arises. Yep. Give us a cell number. Yep. And a we name. Yeah. Hey, do we need anything else, gentlemen? I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Who wants to make a motion to adjourn? Paul Kearse, uh, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Um, we'll do a roll call. Bill McGowan, aye. Paul Kearse, aye. Wayne Sotchuk, aye. All right. Have a good day, everyone. I Thank just you. I have, uh, before we leave, I just have one question. So we're going to move forward with the offsite um, design drawings seeking approvals from DOT and also from the Con local conservation commission based on the, um, the approved drawings for, for route three, a work. Great. So, um, you'll have that in an update for us on Friday, mm -hmm. uh, that you send out to Dan. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just, just give us that plan and we'll be ready to go. Okay. And again, just an update today, if you could, just a quick one. Yep. We can do that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye everyone. Thank Bye. you now. Take care.